Hey, how's it going? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone, and I have a bunch of pedals to unbox today. So we've got some Keeley pedals here, and uh, let's take them out of the box, talk a little bit about what they do, some of the features, and then I want to tell you about a cool project that we're doing with all of this stuff. Let's check it out. So when I was in Oklahoma last week, uh, I got a kind of a cross-section of what a pedal board would be uh, if we were to put it together. Now, I'm not gonna give you like an official unboxing of every pedal uh, because they kind of are all equipped with the same thing, okay? So you've got your foam and you've got a little cool black bag. Before we open what's in the black bag, uh, I'll show you their instructions and his kind of intention for the pedal is on a card in the box, which is pretty cool. If you've never had a Keeley pedal before, it's very thorough, a business card, some little rubber feet to put on the bottom of the pedal. And of course, you gotta have a sticker, okay? So that's what's in the box. So let's open up kind of the very first thing. And what we have uh, first is a limiting amplifier. And so basically what this is, is uh, it's more or less a compressor. Um, but there are a couple of different ways to do compression. So he gave me this one to uh, kind of compare with the other one. So as we get into our project, we'll talk about that uh, and what the differences are and why you would choose one over the other. One of the main things in this project is we want to help people understand how to choose what pedals and why. Um, and when you have multiple choices of seemingly the same thing, you want to make sure you make the right choice. So we've got this pedal here, and then we also have his all new Compressor Plus. So, you know, Keeley's really well known for the four knob compressor, but if you'll notice his normal four knob compressor has a little switch in there, humbucker to single coil. So this is brand new. Uh, at the time of this video being shot, this isn't even actually out yet. So I'm pretty excited about to try how to try this one. And then we're gonna do some comparisons. What we're gonna do is get a really good guitar player, uh, not me, that can really make use of both of these different styles and show you uh, exactly why you would choose one over the other and what compression actually does because that's a, a big deal a lot of people don't really understand how a compressor works or if they do understand it maybe it doesn't always get applied properly so we're going to talk about that super cool stuff uh, let's see what else we got here let's kind of go in the order of signal chain um, and I got some kind of fun stuff here too that doesn't necessarily go anywhere but it's just cool to have but let's talk about this baby. This is the project that Keeley did with Mick and Dan. They got their little faces right there on this pedal. Uh, the DNM drive, uh, Mick and Dan from that pedal show over there in the UK. Um, I am super excited about this pedal. I've played it a little bit uh, and I really, really like it. It is a boost and a drive and you can switch the order, okay? So when we get into putting a pedal board together and understanding gain stages and multiple gain stages so a clean boost versus an overdrive versus a distortion okay this is going to be a very valuable tool in doing that and showing you some immediate effects and switching gain stage order this also has some really cool features because it has for those that are familiar with routing systems tip ring sleeve connectors here and you can actually put this individually into uh, like your routing system uh, so it's very 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 cool pedal and it's very functional. So as we get into our project, I think you're really gonna dig um, being able to understand gain stages, and we'll use this pedal for that. I think it's a great tool uh, to be able to show that. All right, let's see what else we got. Um, so we get on into our modulation. Before we get into the serious stuff, we're gonna show something fun. I was actually in uh, Robert Keeley's warehouse with them and he's like have you tried a bubble tron you gotta you gotta have one and feature it it's just fun okay so this is the Keeley bubble tron and uh, this thing's really super fun it is a filter so it's like a sort of like an envelope filter um, and it's got a phaser in here and it's got a flanger in here but it's not I guess it's not really an envelope filter the really fun thing about this is how pick sensitive it is and dynamic it is at first you would think it's just for making noise, but there are some very musical qualities about this that are very, very cool. Um, I, this is going to be fun to play with. And as we, uh, we've got a different guitar player that we're going to feature using this because he likes this kind of stuff. And I think you're really going to dig it. 
uh, when we do this demo. So not only are we gonna do complete build uh, videos and signal chain videos on each component of your signal chain, but we're also going to do individual demos on each pedal using the proper guitar player kind of for each one. So I think that's going to be really fun too. So let's go further into our timing based stuff and let's look at, this is probably, this is another one. He said, this is just a toy. You got to try it. It's super fun. This has a tri-chorus. It has a rotary and it has a roto flange. So um, there's a three position switch here and it's just fun. That's all I'm gonna say, it's just fun. So as we get into demo in this thing, we're gonna show you some stuff. The fun part about these pedals when we do our build stuff is when we start talking about orders and switching things around, this would be a great way to demo that as well. All right, and then on to our last one that I've been wanting to get my hands on for a while. And that is the Robert Keeley Delay Workstation. So you have a row of uh, selectable reverbs here, and you have a row of selectable delays here. I believe there are eight different kinds of each, eight different kinds of reverbs, eight different kinds of delays. The, the knobs in the middle uh, do different things based on where your set your settings are. There's some cheat sheet on the side of the pedal and also the directions that come with it are very, very uh, extensive as well. I think you're really going to dig uh, what this thing is capable of doing. Individual switches on and off, tap tempo. This thing is very full featured and very, very cool. So what are we going to do with all this? We're going to put it together in a pedal board and we are going to share with you kind of some signal chain stuff. Um, some actual pedal demos on the products themselves. Thank you to Robert Keeley for helping us out with this. We're going to do also something very interesting as well. We're going to use the Kemper for some of this, okay? But we're also going to use a uh, brown face vibroverb for the other stuff. I went ahead and got another amp because a lot of people are like, well, you can't really use pedals in front of a Kemper. It's not really true, but to make everybody happy and to show you the possibilities of what can be done with both things because you know a Kemper can do some stuff that a real amp can't do but a real amp can do some stuff that a Kemper can't do so to have them both together to have some stereo setups to have some other stuff to show you what we, these things can do uh, it's gonna be really fun to have both of them around and um, just give you some ideas on possibilities for signal chain and stuff uh, I'm really excited about it. This is going to be over the next couple of months, probably. We're going to do a little bit a little bit at a time. This is too much for one big video. Uh, stay tuned to Dylan Talks Tone, and I think you're really going to dig what we're doing. Uh, if you have any questions, or since you've seen this video and you've seen the stack of stuff that we have here, and you know that we're using that Viber Verb, and you know we're using the Kemper, and you have a specific question about how all this works together, or you want to know how it's going to fit into your rig, please let me know. And I hope you're part of this conversation and we'll put this thing together uh, together uh, and uh, hopefully answer some questions for you. And maybe we'll make some other questions because it's going to bring up some other ones. This is going to be fun. Hope you all have a great day. My name is Dylan. This is Dylan Talks Tone. We'll see you next time.